Sup guys, I'm Pele Beats, and in this video we're going to make a beat for Lil Baby from scratch in under 10 minutes, so let's get into it. I don't want to use a template, so I will open an empty project. So, 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, I want to open another lab, because of course I want to start with a piano. It's taking so long, man! Okay, okay. Yeah, as always, I want to use the piano 10. Yeah, F sharp can work. So, let's put this to sell. Okay, let's start with a minor chord. Let's just copy this over and then we can change the bass notes. And here we can go up, something like this can work. And we can just copy them over, one octave below. Yeah, that's fire. Okay, so now we can strum that chord. Let's make the BPM higher a little bit. No. Here I can hear something uh, going down, so let's try to do something like that. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, that variation here is fire. Okay, now we can add some top notes. Yeah, okay. Let's just copy this over. Okay, here maybe we can try something different. In this type of beats, I'd like to do something like this with the notes, make them close together. And then we can come back to the first one. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, okay. Let's just copy this over. And let's try to change the key of this melody. Yeah, here in sync key. Okay, I like that, I like that. Now we can click Alt R to randomize the velocity a little bit. And I want also to strum all the bass notes, clicking Alt S. Okay. Okay, that cannot really work for a melody. So I want to add something like a flute. The flute is always good in these beats. But I don't want to open again analog lab, so I will go here in my rendered one shots. Raise the flute. Here. But here we need to click here and change the envelope to something like this. So we stop playing when I want it to stop. Something like this. Yeah, that's fire. Let's just copy this over. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's add some reverb on this. Oh, on the piano we need to add the FX2. So let's use the reshaper, the rise tree. And a cue for to cut the low end. 
Yeah, let's add one last instrument, then we need to move to the drums. Okay, expand. Yeah, let's use the speak out the strings as always. And let's add some delay on this. Put the time on the 8. Okay. Let's just copy this uh, melody. Yeah, let's just copy this again. Oh, we need to add a bass. Raise. Oh, this one is crazy. Okay. Now we just need to follow the bass notes. Okay, okay, we need to move to the drums. Let's add some hi-hats. Let's use a MIDI for the hi-hats. Also here we need to click Altar, but I want to randomize only the pan. Okay, let's search for a clap. Yeah, I always like to use this one, it's crazy. Okay, let's add a hat before. Okay. Yeah, that's bouncy. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, but we need to move the envelope also of this one. Do something like this. Yeah, that's better. I want to use the Zay for this beat, so I will use my new upcoming kit. I love to use this uh, Bal Zay, yeah. Also here we need to change again the envelope. Okay. Oh yeah, but we need a soft clipper on the master, so let's add it. Where is the soft clipper? Here. Okay, I want to add also an EQ where we can boost a little bit the low end and the high end. Yeah. Okay, let's just copy this. Let's use triplets here at the end to add some bounce. No. Oh, we don't got time. We need to arrange it a little bit. Yeah, let's start with the melody and the bass, we need to unmute it. And I want to remove the top melody in the hook. No, 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 I'm panicking, man. So let's do something like this, bring the drums. Move the bass here, we don't need it. Yeah, let's say bring also the flute. Yeah, let's just copy this over. Ten minutes. I think it came out good for a ten minute cook up. See how it sounds. That's bouncy. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, just let me know that in the comments. And check out this video on how to make Detroit beats from scratch.